driving up Highway 80 right now on my way to Mount Shasta. It's been a while since I've been on that mountain and it's kind of the middle of the winter right now but it's unseasonably warm and I just needed a little adventure and to get away for a little bit so I'm gonna head up there and um, try to do some backcountry skiing, get some corn snow tomorrow and this nice warm weather. I'm here in Mount Shasta, just went and had a wonderful dinner and I'm in my hotel right now getting everything all set up for tomorrow for an early morning. It was kind of wind gusting around 80 miles an hour today up near the summit so everything's going to be pretty scoured and hard so I really got to figure out my timing so I get up there when it's soft enough to have some fun skiing but still have enough time to get up high on the mountain and also get back home tomorrow night so I have no idea what I'm going to do in terms of timing but getting all the gear together it's going to be a beautiful day Mount Shasta is just looking magnificent as ever rising above everything around it every time I see that mountain always excites something in me so I'm excited to get up there tomorrow no matter what happens and I will see you guys in the cruel a.m. well I made it to the trailhead it was about 20 minutes away from my hotel it's now like 5 15 about to start skinning up see some lights higher up on the mountain it's really warm it's gonna be hot so I'm excited and I'll see you up on the mountain. About an hour in and it's honestly so, so warm for the winter. I am in all my lightest layers already, brought way too much stuff, but there could be some wind picking up, so rather be overprepared than underprepared for that. But so far just skinning up, it's gorgeous out here. I'm the only person I've seen and just absolutely serene and beautiful. And I guess I didn't mention I'm heading up Avalanche Gulch for now. I'm going to look at some of the ridges once I get up a little higher, but that's kind of the tentative plan and I will see you once some light comes out. Hey everybody, it's around 7 o'clock now. I'm getting pretty close to Helen Lake and the sun has come up. The sky is just beautiful and the sunrise, all these cliffs behind me are crimson red with the first light hitting it. I have the whole place to myself. There's one other group I passed, but it's just crazy to see these kind of conditions in the middle of January. It really does feel like spring. And two words I wish I thought of was ski crampons because it is hard and icy up here. So I don't think I'm going to be able to have the skins on much longer. I'm going to have to start booting it up and probably get the crampons on, but just beautiful sunrise. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day up here, and I'll see you as I get up higher. Marching along. See Helen Lake right up in here. It's the top of the kind of rocky outcrop. That's going to be probably the next stop I check in, relax there for a little bit, catch my breath, have some food, and see how the red banks and everything up above looks. Like I've said so many times now, I just have never seen a more beautiful sunrise. I can't get enough of this. Mount Shasta being a volcano. It's just in the middle of nowhere, so you got panoramic views in every direction, and you just can't beat that. So happy I came up here last second. I almost didn't come, but always worth it. Well, I'm getting up right below Helen Lake, and I'm gonna make the decision if I wanna continue up the Avalanche Gulch route, or if I wanna head up to this ridge here. I forgot the name of it, but Looks like there's a place to get up to that ridge line, which is something I haven't done. And this whole um, ridge up here has some really cool terrain for skiing. And it's already in the sun, so with this heat, I might kind of start the boot pack, try something different from what I've done before. Um, since I've already done the Avalanche Gulch route going up through the Red Bank, so. My plan is to kind of go off course here and chart my own path, and I'll let you guys know how it all goes. Well, I'm about to get to the place where I'm gonna start booting up. 
Got my skins and skis finally off and I forgot the name of this ridge, but I'm gonna look it up. Just some really cool features here to ski. Some little coulars and gullies. Plus it just has that jagged look that I love. So I'm excited to go try out going up this way. Something new, something adventurous. And I'm gonna have some breakfast. I haven't eaten all day. I think Helen Lake now, I'm around, I wanna say 11,000 feet. I don't really remember, but somewhere around there. And um, once I'm on this ridge, I'm gonna kind of keep going and see see what things look like, try to spot out some cool lines. Well, I'm on the boot pack, got the crampons on, headed up this ridge line. Beautiful, but starting to feel my legs and the altitude a little bit here. Slowing down, but there's a few people down on the mountain below me, but not too many people out here today. It's amazing. And the other good thing is the wind isn't nearly as bad as they were saying, and it's supposed to die throughout the day. So feeling pretty positive for some good conditions up high. I'm near the top of this steep pitch going up to the ridge line and it was real steep and icy. One wrong move isn't good there. Probably should have got the ice axe out, but just kind of plowed up here, but it really makes me think about the skiing. It's gonna need some serious sun to soften this up a little bit, but it is hot, so I think that's gonna happen. I'm up underneath these big rock spires here absolutely epic and I'm gonna get on up onto this ridge line and kind of keep going up and also be scouting for the best way um, to ski down well <clears throat> I made it up to this ridge it was steep and pretty hard icy but made it up here and unfortunately I think where I came looks like I'm kind of blocked out here I'll show you guys after this but I think I'm gonna have to maybe down climb a little or go around this big spire. I guess that's what happens when you don't have a route planned out ahead of time and you go, go on your own, but we'll just be careful, do a little down climb in. Doing pretty good. Another really icy steep part, what's new? The one thing I'll say is I'm getting tired because the snow is so hard and you can't fall anywhere. So you gotta really make sure every step is in there good so you're really kicking in. And that plus these skis on my back, it's wearing me out, that's for sure. But I really love this route up here on this ridge. You got amazing views both ways. Definitely more technical than Avalanche Gulch, um, but I'm just hoping I can find a good little couloir to drop into that's not pure blue ice like some of this is. Wind's picking up a little. Got into this ridge. It's another kind of cliffed out area, so it's gotta continue. It would've been nice to do some more of the route research. So I'm not wasting a ton of energy going back and forth to the ridge line, but can't beat the view. And I think I see a couple promising looking kind of cuillars a little, a little farther up. I think I'm gonna have to drop back down and go around, but I think I'm getting pretty close to what looks like a pretty ideal ski route. Well, <coughs> I had to go down quite a ways to kind of loop back around. But how to get the ice axe out, getting a little steep and sketch, but I'm kind of hoping up here, there's this opening that I saw from down there that didn't look too steep, no big cornice to drop in. Because to be honest, it's heating up and I think the skiing's gonna be pretty good soon. I'm worked right now. My legs are feeling this. 
definitely don't think I'm gonna get to the summit now. I think Avalanche Gulch would have been really different. Well, I made that last final push. There was some real spicy traversing going on in there. And somehow I managed to break my brand new GoPro's back screen, but it seems like it's still working. It's beautiful up here. I'm totally worked. I'm cramping up. I need to get some electrolytes in me, but the good news is looks like a nice opening to ski in here. to ski right to the car can't go wrong with that the legs were absolutely dying after that hike coming from sea level not skiing much this year it was hard but amazing snow had an absolute blast i hope the Go broken gopro got some footage we'll see it's not really working but either way what a trip some scary moments but oh god it was amazing